Hello guys and welcome to Zim Reality ITV. My name is DJ Sparks. Tripo pana papa tuno kwe grenye za kasena siya na tisengiz chitika matiwi mana ose enyike Zimbabwe. Nyandine yo pana pa inyaye ma pastors for change. Ma pastors for change washi suduruza kutripu si. Which means pana shukitika kana kuti wanuwese wanungufamba negwara degra taurua na nero. Sa... From my own look at this press conference, Vanga Ita Seguti, Avachadi Kua involved in Mujinje Tribu Sim. Saka Nchakwa did the press conference, the name of my own, the name of my commando, Kuti Boy, Murkuti China, so Akuchki Sakuti, Kuchasara Niko Kutribu Sim. Though in Nangwa, do we run in a good pastors for ED, pastors for change, pastor boys, I believe, good pastors for Jesus. Pastors for Jesus. Wangwe sawa arato drama. But still, um, tunongo na kusiana muma wonero. But doesn't mean kuti maonera sparks ndo anengari ega are correct. Maybe they are correct muwe yao atizie. But what is important now, ndesha wani kutawuro. So before guys, senda kuplay na inyayandi na ye guys. Nenimwe nyaya kanaka singa tumbo iti. Inova iyo nyaya ye blue dot motors. Kwa mchingi mine mota zenu. Kutimi yangu inema Benz, inema BM. Blue dot ya ati wiai. Tukwa sa kusefu sirai mota zenu. Inema price ali affordable. Ma price ali affordable. Uye shem, wanita engine over hole. Not over now. Engine over hole. Gearbox services. Ifunga sisi wamugu wana shuila hapa yushu plus. Naba za uzi tupas kina makasunu nguwa kwa bata Mwa maa shanda mese shaka naka Very good, trust me Kuna wanda uzo maketa wane supa na pazimu reality ITV Nifunga mungu wana meseji ni kufamba pasa hapo Ndo pane namba zedi babu noti bata hepa hapo Uye shu wasi na uti followa ku official page Yedu le Facebook Nukanze zimu reality ITV Tuna imukana unu kutimbe Mungu noti followa Iko koko then it's cool But for now we get bonds Kwe kutima pastors for change Ari kutichi, ma pastors for change, ari kutichi. Saka for now, nita play apana apandika, but nita try up all means kuti even nyangwe, bosi video chalaka kukulisa. Sando wana mbosi visa angu apana apu. Mwanyato uwona zenyu, ma pastors for change. Chongai Wanda, the deputy, general chaplain for pastors for change. I want to acknowledge everyone <coughs> in the house. My name is Right. And do what I'm visa banam. Chongai Wanda, the deputy general chaplain for pastors for change. I want to acknowledge the president, the presence of my chairman, none other than Dr. Mambure, who is our chaplain general. Good afternoon, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, we have gathered here as pastors for change. As I'm going to present over this document from the pastors or the chaplains. Covered greetings, citizens of the beloved nation Zimbabwe, on behalf of the Pastors for Change and Chaplain Department, we do here by announce our disengagement with immediate effect from Triple C and all its active, in line with the recent well documented press statement released by our national spokesperson, Honorable Promise Mukwananzi, we acknowledge President Nelson Chamisa's decision quitting contaminated party politics and focus on the national inclusive development agenda. We recognize that the original Triple C is under the curatorship of Senator 
Jameson Timber, who was tasked to manage the transition from the old to the new. We are therefore pleased to inform the nation that we are solidly behind President Nelson Chamisa and full support his resignation from Triple C, which he said was infiltrated by self-centered political uh, vouchers. Our decision to stand before the nation was informed by our considered observation that support the social trans transformation of the nation at large. We believe that most of our problems as a, as a nation are emanating from the structural and cultural violent hence It is our view that we must stand in the gap advocating for peace, tolerance, political, social, economical, religious justice. We believe that Zimbabwe now need God-fearing leaders who are trustworthy and not corrupt, according to the book of Exodus chapter 18, verse 21 to 22, I quote, but select men from all the people, men who fear God, trust with men who yet dishonest, gain and appoint them as official over thousands, hundreds, fifties, and tens. We believe that Zimbabwe desperately need an inspiration and hope for the future, where only good leaders can bring back smiles and hope to the nation. Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2, I quote, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but the wicked, wicked men rules, the people groan. We believe that Zimbabwe must enjoy their constitutional rights at all times and that everyone must abide by the, by the law of the land. We stand with the suffering populace who are experienced unfavorable living condition and we plead before the Lord for total deliverance. We encourage all leaders and citizens to embark on building our nation on the foundation of peace and non-violence, conflict prevent management, prevent management and resolution, inclusive diversity and equity respect for humanity, love, harmony, discipline, and tolerance. We believe that it is our responsibility as pastors to guide, correct, advise, align leaders to be godly, cultural, principled. It, is, it was necessary for Pharaoh to persecute the Israelites for the glory of the God to be revealed. According to the book of Romans chapter 9, verse 17, I quote, for the scripture says to Pharaoh, for this very purpose I have raised you up, that I may show my power in you, that, they, that my name may be declared in all earth. May God raise transform transformational leaders like Moses, Gideon, Joshua, Deborah, Paul, Dr. Martin Luther, Luther Jr., and Bishop Desmond Tutu of South Africa, ETC, during our times. Our great Zimbabwe awaits to witness the rise of political, economical, social transformer, transformers to bring back the smiles and hope to the suffering general populace. We further affirm with President Nelson Chamisa non-violent approach in addressing challenges being faced by the nation. We affirm our full commitment to the vision and objective for, 
for the betterment of livelihood of all Zimbabweans is stipulated in our national constitution. In conclusion, we encourage all Zimbabweans to remain calm, peacefully, prayerfully, knowingly that God is in control. God will help us to achieve a better and a brighter Zimbabwe, where everyone will enjoy and, and praise God for his ever-loving kindness for Zimbabwe. We, de we desire we desire enjoyment of fruits of the Holy Spirit stipulated in the book of Galatians chapter 5 verse 22. Love, joy, and peace, patient, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. For the way forward, we await a signal from President Nelson Chamisa. Indeed, God is in it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I can entertain maybe two or three questions. Yes, sir. <coughs> One. Uh press conference. Politics. Don't President Nelson Chamisa. But if so far from what we have seen, Vagaita uh, resigned uh, from being the leader or the president of the Triple C. Uh, probably technically, she revised the regime of Avanachi, Avana political party. Saka, then on what basis now would you refer him to as the president since he was now the political party? My journalist. And I've seen our own report here, our own, you are a freelancer, and it, mm. so I don't know if you may uh, attend to that. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I said, Martin, uh -huh. uh, Martin, you may not quit uh, disengage from Triple C. I'm beginning to engage on what capacity uh, in the past for you to make a pronouncement that you are now disengaging. We as a Martine, as a change for his pastor, there's a responsibility to guide. And so that if you make any interventions, and a reason to show that the little triple C, you might have disengaged from, apart from just the weight, yeah, you are a chamisa. You are a snake, you are a triple C. Responsibilities to, to guide. Thank you. Maybe I may start by answering the second uh, uh, question from our first speaker. Uh, President Shamisa resigned from Triple C as the president from Triple C. He is still in politics and he is doing the national agenda, which we believe as chaplains, as pastors, that is working on building the nation. And he has got the national agenda, which we are praying and helping him to achieve as our national leader. We still consider him, and he is still a national president, since he is tackling a national agenda to the nation. Then uh, uh, coming again to
to the first question. We are chaplains within the house. And our national duty or one mandate for a, a white collar man or a clerk or a pastor is to work and minister and pray for the government and pray for every active activities which is are being done in that nation. So it is our mandate as the men of God to pray for our nation. And we even, we go back into scriptures, we see very much that during the time of, of, of times of our kings, they were doing politics and everything, and they were praying for the king, for the kingdom. So we need to pray for our kingdom, which is Zimbabwe. And we need to stand for the, for the gap. And we do understand that we are the one who commission every, be it a minister, a president, a councillor, senator. It is our duty to anoint and to, to send him, to commission him to do the work. Then coming to your question, say, um, can you repeat it? Maybe I'm lost a little bit. Okay, that Martin uh, your responsibility as a pastor and chaplain yes. is to guide. Yes. So my question deputy ma Ma Martin you have announced this engagement. Okay. Uh, you have announced that you are disengaging from Triple C. Uh -huh. What is it wrong that you say Triple C is wrong in this way? That you can really say because of this? We are now uh, disengaging. And in the first place, Mamam should be engaged with Triple C. Mamam should engage with my activities. Happy. Chicha Mamam Chicha. The most of the number of the Imimi, Pane Ere Jama Jamaita, we intervene in Triple C to say, of course, this is the state of Triple C. Issues as pastors would want to see Triple C in this, uh, in this uh, form other than to jump out of the ship just like. What needs to change this time? Thank you. First and foremost, the first thing which I want to point out is this. President Nelson Chamisa is a man of God, is a pastor, is a God-fearing man. He believes and is anointed as a servant of God. That's point number one. Then the second point is that as chaplains, we were doing a lot in Triple C during the time, during the era. And it's only that since we were advising our leaders, praying with them, praying for the nation, for Triple C, within Triple C, we, we were only shocked when we see the so called vouchers who came into the system and they caused a lot of havoc and a lot of confusion, which we couldn't even stand. Because my Bible says clearly, when the devil is attacking you, it's better for you to flee him, flee away. For that, you, if you continue within that line, you cause a, a lot of confusion. So we are fleeing away from the presence of the devil within the, the organization. So we can't compete and we can't fight the devil. The only thing we can do is to resist him and go away. So we are doing a lot as pastors. I can quote one of the last event we did. We lost off one of our colleagues, Bishop uh, Tafmane Masaya, last year. And as chaplains, we were the one who were in charge. And until now, we are weeping with the Masaya family. So we are busy praying for our nation and the judicial, and even the policemen who are doing the investigation of the murder of Masaya. So uh, the, the, the man who was murdered, our, uh, our bishop, so that one day, even if the justice of Zimbabwe fails to bring uh, the culprit, but God the Almighty will do that for us. What would you say about your standing or your integrity or your, 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 your the, the level of your vanguard, maybe your, your state of being able to safeguard that house? Because the meaning of the community Mm -hmm. Like we are saying, you know, it's not a bad thing. It's a very good thing. It's a very good 
asimoti kwenye moti za mshawiri mshiki mshawiri wa pindwa ni na satan saka isusu kana wewe mshiki wa na satan yeye wa mshawiri ni sita sisi let me answer it this way during the times when Christ Jesus was a baby his father Joseph was advised to run away from the presence of Herod who was after Jesus Christ and in the fullness of time God made Christ to accomplish the mission so we believe we are running away from the presence of the Herod in our in triple C in the fullness of time when the man of God by the name president Nelson Chamisa is fully equipped we are going to see him raising a signal and we'll be ready and we are always on our knees as servant of God day in day out we do chain prayers within our organization we have got a a, a department known as Pamavi which is always on knees we are fasting and praying for our nation Zimbabwe praying for the servant of God none other than president Chamisa so that he can get a, he can be well strong emotionally physically he may he is well equipped to do everything thank you maybe i can entertain because our time of our time i can entertain what? one or two this is what All right i wanted to ask um are you now supporting the move of um, mps withdrawing from parliament because if you are distancing yourself from uh, C, are you in support of the withdrawal of MPs from Parliament? Um, and uh, if that is the, the scenario of them withdrawing from Parliament, what about the millions of people that voted for those office bearers? Uh, are you then in support of a massive by-election, which we know it has costed the country uh, a lot of money? What is your position on, the, on, the, on, on that? Maybe I didn't want to entertain that question because it has got in a, the office which is dealing with that. But for the sake of just to share echo some of my words on this, it is the decision of an individual who is feeling the pain of the devil in the house. So he's running away because he knows what is being done. So he's preparing, he's not abandoning the voters. It is the will either of the constituent or the country where he is coming from. Because he's in the first place they are consulting the voters. He's not doing his own decision. So I didn't want to entertain much of that one. And it is, uh, it is our duty just to pray for the nation. That one I don't want to entertain very much because for me it becomes so political. It's a political question which I might not address it as you think. Right, 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 right. Mbere Zimbabwe ndofunga mazins wira zajitawurwa ne ma pastors for change. Ma pastors for change. So guys, Shakwa muri kuti mchi komende kuti mazuona osei Mazinzi kwa osei Jiri kumeka senzele kana kutashis It's all up to you So guys, thanks for watching Thanks for supporting Zemu Reality ITV I'm out